Well, the government just released the July report on inflation. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger joins us now to break down those numbers. And inflation has come down dramatically since peaking last summer. So what happened in July? So it was actually a better than expected report, slightly. We were expecting a slight increase in the annual rate. So the previous month was a 3% increase from a year ago. Mm -hmm. We got 3.2% this time. This is a bit of a quirk because it has more to do with what happened last June in July than mm -hmm. what is happening now. What we saw in this report was a slight deceleration in certain things like gas. Food prices are starting to come down a little bit, but it's this shelter component that still weighs on the report. And when you strip out a lot of this stuff, I think the trend is still good, but still core inflation without food and energy is up 4.7% mm. from a year ago. The Fed really wants that to come down under 3%. All right, so the housing price component, you yeah. were saying, um, the report has remained elevated. So did it get any better? Well, it's so interesting to me because this shelter component has to account for not just rent, mm -hmm. but also the cost of housing in general. And the problem is that a lot of this data lags the current information we have. So when I look at the CPI report, it says shelter up 7.7% from a year ago. But when you look at national apartment rents, they actually showed that on the ground in August, for the first time in almost two years, we saw rents go down nationally. Now you're gonna read reports about how rents in Manhattan are higher than they ever been. It really does depend on your neighborhood, but mm -hmm. I think overall nationally, the shelter component will come down. That will bring the rest of the inflation rate down, but it's going to be a slow, steady march down. All the, the big gains that we saw over the last, say, six months, mm -hmm. I don't think we're going to see anything like that going forward. It's going to be incremental. All right. So the Fed's next policy meeting, not until September. So what will the central bank be watching till then? Well, they're going to watch additional reports. So mm -hmm. we're going to have another Labor Department report. We're going to have another inflation report. There's going to be a little bit more live data between now and that September 19th, 20th time frame. Right this moment, investors are sort of penciling in that there's going to be another quarter percent increase either at this September meeting or at the November meeting. Who knows? A lot can change between now and then. I hope that they all relax, put everything on pause. It's the summer. Come on, Fed officials. <laughs> Let's leave us alone and let's yeah. be okay here. I like that, Jill. Yeah. Thank you very much. Sure. All right, and you can see Jill regularly on CBS Mornings and the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. For more analysis, go to JillOnMoney.com. We'll be right back.